Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to humanity's last stand. They stand on the precipice of destruction. They've grounded a warship to defend. They've got the U.S. Army lined up. They have, of course, BTRs, Russian TOS missile systems, and M1 Abrams ready to fire. And on top of the mountain here, in the bunkers, we have more modern U.S. Army soldiers. We have United Nations troopers. We've got FBI agents. We've got insurgents from the Middle East. We've got Russians, and we've got Apache helicopters. Every modern unit is here to defend against demons from hell. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and get ready for 3.5 million demons coming out of those waters. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then gamers pressing start right now and let's see how this goes so the u.s soldiers slash well they, the u.s soldiers make up the most of humanity's defenses here but uh the u.s the middle eastern soldiers the russians everyone is defending the united nations here so just a hodgepodge of everyone in that army They've got about 250,000 troopers, and they're going up against 3.5 million demons. And these are a variety of demons. So as you can see here, we have brand new zombie models, which is pretty cool. We've got werewolves, we've got trolls, and we should have some crazy other stuff coming out of here soon too. Ah, there they are. The Colossal Titans from Attack on Titan right there pretty terrifying, uh, very spooky. Oh, we do have some missiles incoming. I think those are actually M1 Abrams uh, volleying fire right there. Not only do we have all of these guys, Siren Heads will also be coming out. We will also be having uh, a number of SCPs, specifically SCP-096 is going to be joining the battlefield as well. And some Goblin Archers should be spawning too. This is going to be one crazy, crazy battle that I am super excited about. And it seems like the U.S. soldiers and U.N. soldiers and everyone is firing out already. There's this very strange glitch right here. There's a weird wall. And this is bizarre as well because we have a spawn point here uh, for the enemies that you can see they're spawning in. It's weird because they spawn here, then they teleport them to the Higgins boats. It seems like kind of weird sus programming. I don't really get why they do that, but... It is what it is. Uh, they spawn there and then go over here. I'm wondering if this massive wall has anything to do with it or if that's just a new glitch in the map. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's tough. It's an indie dev studio. It is what it is. Either way, uh, we've got the battleship here out in front, kind of just for shiggles. Um, it, it is fighting away. They decided to ground it and uh, fight with it on the beach. And it is taking a lot of swings right now from various things. Oh, there's some of the SCPs. There's SCP-096. We've never used these guys before, but they are terrifying looking. My god. Okay, well, they're coming forward. They're all coming forward to attack those guys. Very, very spooky. Um, and it seems like right now, Humanity's armies seem to be doing okay. I mean, they're surviving. Oh, those SCPs are like rolling. 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 Oh, are these the Siren Heads? Yeah, we've got Siren Heads over here. They've got a lot of health. 660,000 health. That is going to be a challenge to take out. But of course, these are modern units, so they've got pretty crazy capabilities. I mean, these TOS ones, they're absolutely brutal, bro. They just spam fire out there and get, you know, tens of thousands of bits of damage out against the enemy all at once. And of course, we have the modern soldiers up here who are probably some of the best ranged units in the game at least in the vanilla game the modded game it is a little bit different but yeah they're pretty crazy wow look at all these scps oh my god they're everywhere they're like all in their lines it's like they like teleported in 
Although I think it was just that the explosions knocked them inwards and they've got good health so they were able to survive it and now they're just like in the US Army lines here attacking. That's not good. Right now we've got 7,000 dead modern soldiers and 77,000 dead enemies. That's pretty crazy. The modern warship here is still alive. It's been pushed backwards, which is kind of funny. I think it accidentally... Oh, it killed a ton of modern soldiers. It, it continues to crush them. Oh, that's not good. That is very much so not good. They're getting supported by BTRs further back here who are just sort of spamming auto cannons, which is helpful. I mean, that's hopefully getting some kills as the zombies and trolls and things come through this wall very strangely. The Apache helicopter is still in the way, way back, as well as the rest of the units here. So, uh, you know, here are more modern U.S. soldiers over this way. We've got UN soldiers with uh, sniper rifles, which I thought would be kind of fun. Uh, over this way, we've got the insurgents, and then further back this way, we should have the FBI agents as well as um, random dudes with guns. Uh, so yeah, here's the FBI agents, and then there's just these guys over here who are just dudes with Uzis and beats by Dre. I don't know. <laughs> it's very strange, but they're in this thing too, baby. Seems like the far right side seems to be doing the absolute best right now as they're fighting just kind of zombies and werewolves. We haven't seen those goblins come into play yet. Where, where are the gobbies at? We're the little gobby boys. There should be goblin archers, but I have not seen them yet. Ooh, more titans going down. Look at them. Oh, they got they got the dogs out. They got the dogs barking for free. Um, okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and do a little time lapse here. Uh, oh, wait. We have a breakthrough over this way. Look at this. Over here, the toss system's getting attacked straight up. Oh, that's not good. You guys need to plug this gap soon with more fire. Hopefully those Apaches are firing some of the troopers up here start firing too oh some of the scps are going for the insurgents up here as well oh yikes yeah these these things are powerful apparently these things can take a punch that is not good dude that is not good one bit but the right side seems pretty much fine for now so that's good yeah why don't we time lapse this and watch as more and more come in Okay, the battleship here continues to tweak backwards and is now, like, in the BTRs. That's not good. <laughs> this thing needs to stop retreating because uh, it's supposed to be just sort of blockading the enemy from coming forward. Instead, it seems to be inhibiting its own troops. There's no bueno. Oh, look at that, though. The BTR fire plus the warship fire cutting down these trolls. Beautifully. Well done. The left side over here is in major trouble, though. These TOS systems are trying to survive. I think a few of them have died already, uh, but the rest are, like, in full-on survival mode, firing into the air, which just is not that effective because the shots are not landing on the ground anywhere near here, probably taking out some civilian cities, like, a hundred miles away by accident. Yeah, it's not good. That is not good at all. Oh. Okay, it, it is good to note, though, that these SCPs, man, only a few have died fully. That These guys are deadly. We need to know that for the future because these SCPs are whoo, a little bit rough. That's, that's to say the least, man. They, they are really something. Oh, the goblin archers. Wait, there they are. Goblin archers are finally on the battlefield firing. Oh, a lot of them have already died. Holy cow. Oh, this is a mix of goblin archers, modern soldiers, zombies. A, a lot died over here. Holy cow. Oh, one TOS system is stuck in a horde over here. Wow. These things are actually a lot tougher than I thought. Oh, yeah. They've got 100,000 health, so that's, that's pretty good. Let's just fire into these guys. Um, I, I guess, yeah, the SCPs versus the TOS systems is kind of funny because both have fairly incredible health, so they're kind of able to... <laughs> Both survive for a very long time. The insurgents up here are getting some good shots in, though. That's that's good to see. These guys are helping out those TOS systems, e even though it's probably futile at this point to help these guys. We need the other sides of the battlefield to do particularly well if we want to see a human victory here. <laughs> Let's check in on how they're doing. Yeah, this is getting rough. This is getting real, real rough. Woo! All right, these BTRs, though, they've got real good firepower. That's nice to see. Hopefully they could do, like, some real stuff against these guys. We've got some more dead SCPs over here. That's good to see as well, because they are deadly. And then we still got modern soldiers left alive over here, although now they're getting shot by arrows. They do have some armor that can deflect those arrows, but uh, every 
few arrows will get through and find a chink in the armor and kill them. That's not good. Um, here come a whole lot of trolls, baby. A whole lot. By the way, are all these guys dead? Yeah, sometimes if you're too far away, the ones that are dead are still standing up at a distance. But yeah, these, these guys are still alive. These ones are dead, obviously. Um, and then the far right side for the humans over here is doing great. I mean, these guys, no trouble at all. I mean, they're just having zombies currently, so at least there's this bastion of hope. And also, all the Abrams are still chilling over here, just sort of volleying out random fire and stuff like that. So, the humans do have some areas that they can sort of use as backup if the other areas over here don't work out too well. There's still 2 million demons left alive and 122,000 modern soldiers, uh, and the demons are really taking out these, these areas over here. This is... This is getting to be a, a wee bit disastrous, if you will. Um, so that's not good. But, hey man, at, at the very least, we've, we've got the right side still surviving. Alright, we just got to see the insurgents basically get wiped out over here. Oh, they're all dead dead over this way. Whoa, what? That was like four minutes I walked away from the computer and already... The UN and the insurgents are all dead, and the Apaches are starting to starting to have some trouble. Ooh, that's very not good. That is very, very, very not good. 1.4 million demons left, so more and more demons are dying, which is good. We like that a lot. Um, and there are still 115,000 modern soldiers left alive. I think the warship did die. I'm trying to possess it, and I cannot, so I think the warship finally did die. Which means these BTRs are ripe for the picking for these SCPs. It's not good. Uh, they've got decent health, and they do really good damage. So, you know, yeah, you can see they've killed a lot of SCPs over here, which is excellent. But yeah, they're, they're likely to go down fairly soon as well. And then uh, these TOSs, man, they must actually be kind of beefcakes because they're still surviving. A few of them have died, but many of them are still alive. So once these guys finish with them, then we're going to have a whole onslaught coming this way, which will be very not good, but we still have the M1 Abrams, which is good, and we still have some infantry up here that's surviving, which is nice, but it, it do be looking a smidge rough at the moment. All right, boys. Well, the demons, uh, they're coming. And they've killed a lot of the TOSs. There's not a ton of them remaining, maybe like 50. Um, and also, a ton of soldiers are dying. Where are they? Oh, that's the enemy soldiers. Oh my god, there's only 50,000 of them left? That's kind of crazy. I was like, wow, they're dying. They're, they're, they're really going down, aren't they? But no, it's, it's not the human army. It's the... It's the demon army. They've only got 42,000 troops left, so, so they're about to be completely kaputs on the battlefield, which is kind of crazy. I, I would like to run it back and give them even more numbers and bigger advantage just to see what happens, but this, this first battle here is going to be a, a human victory, I believe, so let's just let it play out. And there we go, guys. Apparently there's 27 enemies left alive over here. Um, they're dying, so let's let's try this again. All right, there are now five million demons on the other side. I increased the numbers for every unit except for the SCPs because obviously the SCP was just like, uh, kind of busted, it was a little bit busticated, a little too uh, powerful. Uh, so yeah, that, that one I think was evenly balanced and was the only reason that the demons did so well last time anyway. So I'm putting that in the who caresville column of things. And here comes the werewolves, the zombies, the trolls, the whole shebang moving on forward. And the toss fire is already activating. Look at that. Immediate kills. Immediate kills. But, I mean, it's not super effective. Some trolls are able to survive it. There's, of course, some of those SCPs again. SCP-096 for ya. And uh, over here, once again, more siren heads coming forward. Oh, the spooky boys with the teeth sirens. Very spook. Um, and of course, the Colossal Titans are very baller. Very, very cool dudes. 
None of them should be dead quite yet. No, they, they should be all good. And they start their assault on the warship, which I think it's funny how far back the warship was pushed in the last battle. I mean, that's that's pretty far. That's pretty crazy how it ended up at, like, the bunkers, kind of. Like, just below the bunkers. <laughs> and it starts here. As you can see, it's actually got, like, a square hitbox, so... Yeah, you can see how the trolls are kind of around it, so they can hit them from there, not to worry, but... Yeah, pretty crazy. Let's, uh, let's see how this battle ends up doing. Okay, the demons have really reached the front lines quick this time. Look at all those dead titans, but many more are still alive, of course. 160,000 humans left alive, so they've already lost 100k, which is uh, very not good. Uh, it seems like the increased number of baddies here is... Not a good thing, and not baddies in a good way. Baddies as in bad guys. No bueno. Uh, very no bueno, actually. Look at this. Oh, no. There's so many SCPs left alive because I think there's more cannon fodder surrounding them. And so they're able to kind of make it to the front lines a little bit easier now. Oh, mega yikes for them. And, of course, the left side capitulates almost immediately yet again. They are on the struggle bus for sure. How's the right side doing? The right side's still doing better. For some reason, the easiest units keep spawning on the right side, and so these guys are able to just gun them down. And, of course, the Agrams do help out with that as well, so that's kind of nice for them, but overall, oh, it's, it's a little rough. It's a little rough on the battlefield this time, and I'm not sure, because there's still 3.39 million demons remaining and 150,000 humans remaining. It is going to be a rougher battle. Oh, it only took four minutes for those guys to wipe out our defenses there. That's not good. The warship is dead. It died way further up this time around. And the sides are getting completely encapsulated. Particularly these TOS systems are just under constant threat at this point, which is not good. There are still some insurgents left alive up here, which is nice to see. But I'm sure that their lives are probably short-lived at this point. They've got the Apaches doing some cover fire, which is nice, but they are definitely struggling at least a little bit right there. Also, these modern um, UN soldiers over this way are currently getting attacked by a lot of SCPs. I really do think the SCPs are still dominant because currently they're sort of acting as like the punching boys. They're, they're the power, and the rest is just all cannon fodder. Um, yeah, they just get a little, little bit lethal here on the battlefield. It's, it's definitely rough. 117,000 modern soldiers remaining. 3 million enemies. Humanity is holding out, baby. I'm actually kind of proud. They're doing it a little bit. They've got 106,000 troopers left, and the enemy only has 730,000, so... Maybe we will get that big W we were looking for after all in this part two. These TOS systems are honestly really tough for these guys to kill. We've done plenty of videos where they have, like, died in mass, but for some reason these guys just really struggle with hitting them? It's a bit bizarre. I don't know. Um, but that might be the saving grace of humanity, to be completely honest with you. I'm just going to let this ride because I think it will be another W just like the last battle. All right, boys, there's still 17,000 enemies left alive. They've gotten a few more kills on the U.S. soldiers, but for the most part, they're just killing TOS systems, um, and it, it just seems like they're going to take the fattest L. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a small update, but they're still just dying. There we go, guys. Modern soldiers get the complete and utter victory right there. Beautiful. And uh, they still have 106,000 soldiers left, so not bad. Either way, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you all the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.